Hi, it's Mary. I hope you are doing well. Since it's just about the end of October, I thought we'd do a few STEM activities between now and the 31st because everybody likes to scare up a little fun at the end of October. So we're going to start today with slime. We've made slime before, but we are going to change it up a little this time. Instead of the regular white PVA glue that we used last time, we are going to use some glow-in-the-dark glittery PVA glue. So let's get started. And we have a guest here to help us out today. Um, everybody say hi to Frankenstein's monster. So the other items that we are going to use, four ounces of the sparkly PVA glue, baking soda. Again, it's my jar of baking soda that I use for non-cooking purposes, contact lens solution, and about two ounces of water. For the equipment, we need a bowl, a one tablespoon measuring spoon, and a one half tablespoon measuring spoon, and a liquid measure measuring cup. Something to stir with. I'm just going to use a spoon, and because I like to pre-measure my ingredients and have them set aside, I've got a couple of little cups. So we're going to start off by measuring two ounces of the water. And we're going to measure a half tablespoon of the baking soda. And you want the top to be level. And I'm just going to put that in this cup right there. We want a tablespoon of contact lens solution. Oop. And you want that filled all the way. And there we are. And luckily, I've also brought along some paper towels. So now we have everything we need. We've got the water, baking soda, the contact lens solution, and the glue. And we're going to start by adding the contents of the bottle of glue to the bowl. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of that out and then I'll be right back. We are going to add the two ounces of water and stir. And you want to stir until that's completely a homogenous solution. So it is now all thoroughly mixed together. We are going to take our half tablespoon of baking soda and add that in. And again, we want it thoroughly mixed. All right. Haven't tried it with the glow-in-the-dark glue before, so we will see how this works. We are going to add the contact lens, the contact lens solution addition. Once we add the contact lens solution, this reaction is going to go pretty quickly. So it will begin to thicken, and then we can take it out of the bowl and knead it.
and it's pretty thick already. I didn't even add that much of it, so let's see how that is. Nope, gonna add a little more. And we'll stir, stir, stir. Contact lens solution. So let's need, ah, so it's pretty sticky, but some of that stickiness is starting to go away. <laughs> okay, seriously, time to need. So kneading, like in baking, you're just going to Fold it over and squish. 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 And I'm going to keep doing that until it is less sticky and it's been working really well so far. So let's get it off this hand too. So I went back and I added a little more of the contact lens solution to it and got it to the point where it isn't sticking to everything. So you can see that it is much more able to resist sticking to my hands now. So let's see how it does for stretching. Ah, we've got some nice stretching. I'm going to put some of it back in that bowl. I'm going to bring it around front and I'm going to see if we can paint it. So, yep, you can kind of see through that. It's pretty stretchy. It will glow in the dark. And, whoop, got a bit of glass in there, there we go. And it's glittery, so both of those things are cool. So let's just talk a little bit about the reaction there. So PVA glue is polyvinyl acetate. And basically, it's a couple chains of carbon with oxygen coming off. When we added the baking soda into the solution of the water and the PVA glue, that gets the oxygens that are on the carbon chain ready to start bonding. And when we add the contact lens solution, it contains boric acid. And the boric acid, when we added that, that causes the oxygen molecules to bond together. So instead of just flowing right past each other, you get a little bit of resistance there and you get slime. And there is our glow-in-the-dark slime. I hope that you had as much fun making slime as Frankenstein's monster and I did. And we will see you again very soon with another adventure in STEM. Thank you.